for being with us. Our top story tonight in a speech today on the economy. President Joe Biden says people are coming off the sidelines, adding that unemployment and inflation are down. Meanwhile, he continues to go after a pro-life lawmaker from Alabama who is blocking Pentagon promotions to defend the unborn. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Tracy, President Joe Biden spoke at Auburn Manufacturing in Auburn, Maine today, touting the economy, reminding his audience inflation numbers are improving. He even joked that maybe Republicans will now decide to impeach him with inflation numbers coming down. President Joe Biden departs the White House, not stopping to talk to reporters amidst the noise of Marine One. Mr. President, are you worried about being impeached? Last night, the president did make remarks about abortion. He wants the U.S. military to pay for troops who travel to get abortions. But Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville takes a pro-life stand, blocking Pentagon promotions until that policy is reversed. All because one senator from Alabama and 48 Republicans refused to stand up to him to lift a blockade over the Pentagon policy offering servicemen and women their families access to reproductive health care rights they deserve if they're stationed in states to deny it. Senator Tuberville responds, there is ample bipartisan precedent for what I am doing to block the Pentagon's abortion policy, including from the very Democrat senators complaining the loudest. And today, Vice President Kamala Harris takes the administration's pro-abortion message to Iowa. And so when we think about this issue, there are so many layers to it that are about a violation of basic freedoms and rights. Pro-life groups push back. Live Action recently tweeted, procedures that intentionally kill human beings have no place in the health care system, adding, it's time to abolish abortion. President Biden also defends his economic record during a trip to Maine. So inflation is now at its lowest point in two years. Today, the White House hosted a group of Democratic lawmakers who agreed to spread the president's economic message. But we asked how they explain higher grocery and gas prices. Nobody's gaslighting the American people. The American people are smart and decent people. And the fact, if they have the facts, they're going to make the same conclusion that I have made, that our policies are working for the American people. President Biden is expected to end his day in Delaware, where he'll begin his vacation. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump has been indicted on three additional charges in a case that accuses him of illegally possessing classified documents. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.